So I think nature is so important because it restores your soul. It helps develop a sense of well-being and even just to stand in nature can hear all the bird life around you, you can hear the wind in the leaves in the trees, it's beautiful. We really want the community to find this place if they haven't found it already. We want them to appreciate the fact that here, even by a busy road, nature is restorative and it's a place of peace and well-being. I'd like to achieve that by enabling folk to see this as their garden as well, so that people can come and either engage with nature through growing and planting some flowers or with the toddler group, baby and toddler group, and sit outside and enjoy that space. St Aidan's has a lovely green space, it's got so many trees, so we've got birds and wildlife already here. By spring next year, we'd like to have at least three water butts in place and develop the area that's used by the toddler group. We have a cafe here, so we want to be able to use vegetables grown in the garden in the cafe. But not only that, we want to have vegetables that we can turn into soup so that we can offer free soup to people that need a free meal. And we also want to plant some apple trees so that people can, again, come and help themselves if they wanted to. Some of the measures we've already put in place, we've got bird feeders, bird boxes. We're introducing wildflowers and anything that wildlife might appreciate and a recreational area for people to be, to be in. Having access to nature in a built-up area, because if they're brought up in terraced houses, which is a predominantly terraced house area, and children don't get much chance. So being able to engage with the children and bring and introduce them to nature can allow the children a bit of freedom to explore the garden in a little bit. Oh wow, this project has evolved and changed over the last several months. Biggest change is having an open garden where we've invited people of all ages to come do a bit of planting. So we've got some potatoes to plant, tomato plants, to allow children to get their hands in the soil, to see the garden as a space they can explore, enjoy, play games and just enjoy being in the garden. The other thing that we've done is to create the raised beds. We've installed the water butts and we've got a really good compost system going. <laughs> the apple trees and they're so excited to see the blossom on the trees and know that they're going to be producing apples this autumn. The other bonus of having a garden like this is that you see the wildlife that is here already. The ladybirds have been adorable <laughs> and uh, we were really surprised to find them hibernating around our water feature. Stacks of them on the canes, the snails, we've just discovered one this morning on our plants, bees that have come and take the nectar off the flowers. But that's why we do it, because we want to encourage the native wildlife to be here to flourish and to be part of building a, a bee corridor as well through the city, which is really important. I feel that the changes in the garden, they just warm my heart. They really do, they make me smile. I feel a sense of encouragement seeing other people engage with the garden. It's all positive, it's all absolutely positive, yeah. When things are difficult, and when things aren't going well around, whether that's on a national, a global or a personal level, just need to step out into a garden, step into nature, go for a walk, and you're reminded that nature carries on, the cycle of life keeps going. Whatever time of year, um, there's flowers growing up through concrete. Nature doesn't stop, nature has power, and that power is life-giving and refreshing and affirmative and restorative. That's just an abundance of of wellness right there, accessible to all of us, whether we've got a window box or whether we've got a huge garden, whether we live by a river or a lake, or whether we live in a city and we can just access a garden, whether it's attached to a library, a health centre or a church, just find it and uh, stand there and just see what's all around. <laughs>